Lost arms. <laughs> Correct. Th thanks for squeezing us in between married at first sight couples. It's a, a pleasure to be here. You know, earlier when you said coming up a real life vampire couple, we thought you were referring to us. Well, we thought, oh, they're, they're throwing haymakers already. Well, you have been sinking your teeth in, Mick Malloy. Exactly. What, what's so wrong? What's so I, wrong with what's going I, on here? I think you're doing a great job. It's just Jane's naked ambition can't be stopped. And Listen. she says to me, she's like Lady Macbeth. She goes, I could be doing that. Mick, right I have now. no no idea <laughs> what you're talking about. She, she, she brought that in from home. <laughs> she, she said, to, you're doing a great job, girls. You Stevie are. phoning it in this morning, I thought, well, on, a, on a carriage. He should be shot out of a cannon or riding a monster truck or well, something. Well, careful what you wish for, my friend, because we might just put you to the chest pretty soon. But, Jane, we know you've had form, at least, playing a TV reporter, the fabulous series, a bit too close to the bone sometimes, Frontline. <laughs> he has a bit of a taste for people who can't remember your wonderful work. OK, they're all turns to camera. Version one, concerned look. Version two, reassuring look. Version three, smart look. What is that supposed to be? I don't know, I think it might be a... What is that? And Larry wants us to interact during the outro. Interact? What do you mean interact? Just, just relax, just relax, I'll work. In five. You take this. Martin D'Astasio with that report. Well, that's about it for the week. It's certainly been a busy week, Brooke. Sure has, Mike. Very busy. It's uh, when you have that many oh. stories. There you go. <laughs> there you go. She can even do the noddy, Brooke. I remember. I remember well, Brooke yes. doing the noddy very well as well. I could, and it's always refreshing to see yourself from about 25 years ago. So oh. thanks for that. Oh, oh, so it's good to see some archival footage from the 1870s. <laughs> I would have thought that was some time ago. Big Seriously. hair and shoulder pads never went away. What, no, never. What that reminds us of, though, Jane, is that you've obviously got the journalistic chops. Have you thought, though, you might have to have blonde hair? <laughs> well, I know this has been brought up in the press, actually, on the weekend. Yeah. That what is with Channel 9 and all you blonde birds? Um, I'm not sure. Of course, we don't have to get our hair dyed as much as you girls do. Yeah, yeah it is you, part you of the job description. You get blonde hair and I'll get plugs like Carl had. Oh. Have, have you heard that? <laughs> oh, no, oh, that's, see, that's going too I'll far. I'm afraid to go the whole that. hog. Now, I'd love to see you, Mick, in a, in a bit of a leotard because you did mention on air that you wouldn't mind sort of perhaps getting on the, uh, the 80s leg warmers and, uh, and shaping <laughs> up did. on air. Maybe doing the I'm a maniac. The, the, the quick dance would be good. No, you you girls actually still want ratings. <laughs> <laughs> Can true. I say, I think you're doing a wonderful job and it's my favourite morning show. And if oh, I, my if, God, uh, you suck. Stop exactly. stucking up now. You've if said I even got up before midday, oh, this is the one I would want. Yeah, you've said that three times. You've sent the red roses, which, by the way, got me into a lot of trouble with my husband. Thanks for that. <laughs> Yeah. Didn't they? Yeah. He's had it too good for too long anyway. He's a bum. You can do a lot better, Georgie. But look, I, before we go, I do want to put you on the spot. We do want to see if you can actually read the weather because you did say, Mick, that you weather. reckon Great. you could. All right, take it away. We've got a script here for you. You think it's just so easy, do you? Here we go. All right, do I need to be attacked by a bird or shot out of a cannon or something while just I do, do it? it can be all right, all right, see what she does to me. Yeah, go uh, on. Queensland, Majigaraba. Can I buy a vowel? Sunny, 31. Tiara. That's not that happening, sounds is like, it? is it in Australia or Italy? <laughs> Sunny, 29. New South Wales, where's that? Yeah. Wollombi, partly cloudy, 34. Perfect. Take your tops off, everybody. <laughs> Lake Cathy, my favourite. Cathy. As lakes go, like none are better. Partly cloudy, 29. <laughs> Nana Glen. Nana sounds Glenn. old and stuffy. Oh. Sunny, 29. Is that good? <laughs> if you you always want to have him right. He, see, he always wants affirmation every two seconds. Yeah, uh, I just need some support around me. He hasn't been very supportive today, I have to say. So needy. Stevie, feel free to weigh in. in. <laughs> Stevie's mate, here watching on. Mate, tell him yeah, down. I've, I've, I've just got to say, Mick, when you thought the hosts were referring to you as a vampire couple, they actually work as, mate, that absolutely sucks. <laughs> yeah, no, what are you doing up there in Darwin? Are you, you in some kind of witness protection scheme, are you, Stevie? <laughs> what are you doing? <laughs> Well, see, the thing is, Mick, with the weather, you've got to get up at 4 a.m. in the morning, but for you it'll be 1 a.m. because it'll be three hours of special effects makeup for you, my friend, so I just don't think you could do the job. <laughs> well, I should have seen Jane. They had to erect the scaffolding and make oh, up to get her up at either way. That's yeah. very that, unfair. That's the only reason. She, your, jo your jobs are safe, girls. <laughs> she, she, she's not TV ready till oh, midday Jane, at least. I don't know Listen, how you do it. You should I'm, see it from this close. I'm one of the more mature women in television at this point in time. And anyway, we, and we would, I wake up with today. Thank you, and we would welcome you with... Leo, 
Kiwani, partly grass. Oh, yes. See you next yeah, Be quiet. Come on, Mick. <laughs> Thank you for being such great oh, sports, you two. Yeah, you're good eggs, and I'll tone oh, it down. Did you just call us eggs? Yes, well, he did. Well, in a affectionate way. <laughs> Hodgson, this is a witch hunt. Isn't it? Hey, oh, hang on. <laughs> Thank goodness for that. Well done. Oh, well. That's better. Jane, Look at each that's tail. much better. <laughs> Jane, you deserve a medal, and there is a spot for you on the set any day of the week. Thank you so much, girls. Oh. And as I said, I wake up with today. Very good. <laughs> well done. Thanks, Jane. <laughs> Thanks, Mick. Sort of. Kind of. Good on you, Stevie. <laughs> All right.